I'm Gabby and I had a very rare tibial bone disease when I was younger. The disease is called tibial pseudarthrosis and it's where your bone breaks and it doesn't heal so it requires amputation. But I went to New York Presbyterian and now I'm recovering and I've had nine surgeries and I'm a lot better now. Like it's all, it's all cured and everything so I'm back to just being myself and I'm better than I was before. I'm a better me. I started dancing when I was three and I had a leg brace then, so it was very weird just to see a kid with a leg brace in a dance studio, but I kept dancing and then when I had my surgeries I would take off from dance and then I would continue to go back and I stopped dancing when I was about 10 because I had another surgery and it was just a lot of casts and stuff so I wasn't able to dance really. And with that I found acting and I really, really loved acting and I can do that even with a cast or without a cast. The dancing and singing and acting, it just all took place and it really, really made me, it made me happy, so it's something I really enjoy. During the Radio City Christmas Spectacular, I'm walking on stage during the Central Park scene. There's just so much going on and there's so much to look at and then the big bus comes out and all the rockets are on it. Everywhere you look there's people dancing, there's people, there's people talking and there's different set changes and it's so, so cool and it's amazing to me. To get to see the, the costumes on the hangers and the makeup and the rehearsal halls, like I saw a couple of rockets. They were in the rehearsal studio and it's just, it's so cool because it's the backstage stuff which is really, really awesome to me to see that because I'm so passionate about this and, and this industry and just to see everything backstage, it's, it's so, so, so cool. That's everybody's dream to become a Rockette. It's so, they're, they're all in sync and it's, oh, I don't know. I'm speechless. I mean, they're just so amazing. I personally look up to them because you see how hard they work. I mean, they're an idol to me and I aspire to be like them when I'm older. To be here today and to be able to do the walk-on role, it's just kind of a step in how far I've come and to see the amazing opportunities that the hospital has given me. So I'm so grateful for them and thankful for everything that they've been able to do for me. So I'm just very excited to be here today.